Hey everyone, welcome to the 39th Annual Bronze Day Parade. I'm Veronica Boapim. And I'm Sean Louis. And we're out here at the Green Marshalloo Parkway, ending the final festivities of Bronze Week. Sean, can you believe everyone is still out here in the rain? It's, it's a lot of spirit out here. The kids out here stepping, marching, and it, everybody seems to be enjoying their time right now, even though it's raining, so. That's right, showing that bronze pride. And I know I'm out here, and I've been having a great, great time this week. What have you, uh, what have you done this week? This week has been great. I mean, BronzeNet had their Youth Day special. We're going to be promoting our youth channel that's coming up. And we had our show that was on Monday. Okay. And then Tuesday, we had Diva Spa at the courthouse. And I was able to get my facial and massage. You should have been too, out there. Too bad you ladies missed that, right? That, I know a lot of the bronze ladies were out there. The men should have been out there getting it with us. I know I should have been out there as well. You should have. See, my skin is all soft and everything. Okay, it's glowing. <laughs> And then Wednesday and Thursday, they had other festivities going on at the Bronze Museum. And then on Aaron, so we're going to keep up with you as you're going to more booths. That sounds like a plan. All right, and we're going to throw it right back to Sean. Sean, what else is going on? Thanks, Veronica. We're here with Bad Boys on Donnie Klain. How you doing today, man? Good, man, good. What brings you out here today? Just hanging out with the Bronze Fest and everything, being a part of the festivities. Thank God the rain's holding up a little bit. I think it kind of slowed the crowd down, but we're going to have fun anyway. Have you been enjoying some of the food today? Absolutely. We got a truck full of stuff right now, all the Spanish food. Um, a lot of people don't know I'm actually half Puerto Rican from my mom's side, yeah. So the whole food, empanadas and everything. So you were partially uh, the Bronx side already? Yeah, yeah. All right, all yeah. right, all right. So, so, so tell me, this is your first time in the Bronx? No, not my first time. Probably saw him making a band. Puff had us like walk all over the place. We went to Brooklyn for cheesecake. Okay. I, I grew up in Canarsie, Brooklyn. Okay. And then my dad used to live out here in the Bronx, so I used to come here all the time. Went to a bunch of Yankee games and stuff when I was little growing up. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. You missed the Bronx ball last night, man. You should have came by. It was yeah. nice. It was in Yankee Stadium, man. I've heard have you about you been to Yankee Stadium yet? Not the new one. I heard it's sick though. I know they put a lot into it, so I can't, I'm gonna definitely catch a game this season. Okay, okay, okay. So what you plan on doing for the people of the Bronx today? Uh, we're performing. I got my dancers with me. We're doing a full show. Um, we actually just added a couple new songs. Okay. So we're going to try them out, test them. Actually, songs that aren't on my album. And then we're doing stuff from my album, Just a Rolling Stone. In stores right now. We got the street team with us. Just going to go promote, man. Okay. Diddy told me sometimes you just got to go out and do it yourself. So I'm out here. Go out and go home, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks, man. Cool. Thank you, man. All right. We'll take it back to you, Veronica. So what brings you out here today? Just being a whole part of this Bronx festivities and everything. Um, a lot of people don't know. I grew up in Brooklyn. My dad used to live out here in the Bronx, and I'm half Puerto Rican. So we just want to be a part of everything, really get my name out there. Diddy told me, you got to go out to the streets and do it yourself. So I'm out here telling everybody one by one, if you don't know me, my name is Donnie Klein. Please pick up my album. And what's the name of the album? The album is called Just a Rolling Stone, in stores right now. Unfortunately, we've reached the end of Bronze Week. I know I had a wonderful time. What about you, Sean? Actually, I had a great time. I see we you out did. here enjoying the music, the festivities, arm wrestling. It was just great. How did you enjoy your week? I had a wonderful week. Like I said, it was just great meeting so many people, seeing the bronze pride of our neighbors coming out, even in this rain, that thank God it finally stopped. You guys stayed, and that's what we need, Bronx pride. Yes, yes. I know in a minute I'm going to go get my cocoa mango cherry, so I'm going to head out. <laughs> All right, so as Sean is about to do that, maybe I'll join him. We just want to thank you folks at home for joining us and for letting us come into your living rooms. Just remember to stay tuned to our channels as we give you all the latest coverage on what's going on in your borough. So for BronxNet, I'm Veronica Boapim. And I'm Sean Lilly. And in the words of our executive director, remember to stay Bronx strong. Peace.